I just took my AP statistics test. How do you think you did? Well, I wrote that the population was the 27 textbooks in the sample. Don't you mean that the population was all such textbooks? Well, no. I said the 27 textbooks that were actually examined make up the population. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, I made sure that I remembered to put X bar in the null hypothesis. You mean mu? You wrote mu in the null hypothesis, right? No, I just told you that I put X bar in the null hypothesis. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. I wrote a list of all the conditions and assumptions that were supposed to be met. I remembered to do that. That's good. Did you show all the conditions being checked, or did you just write that list? I wrote the list, put a check mark next to each one, and then just said that all the conditions were met. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, I did graph the data that was given in the problem. Then I assume that you explained what the graph indicated about the problem in context and explicitly referred to the graph in your discussion, right? Nah, that would take too much time and effort. I just sketched the graph and figured that the reader or grader would understand the relationship to the problem. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, I wrote that the test statistic was t equals x bar minus mu all over s and so I guess that is good that I wrote the formula. Did you put the s in the denominator over a square root of n? No, I just wrote the s down there. That sample size n doesn't matter right? You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. After I wrote the test statistic formula for T, I made sure that I wrote out all the calculator steps and buttons that I pushed, and then I copied down exactly what I saw on my calculator screen. Did you show all the numbers plugged into the formula? No, I just had the formula. And then, like I said, I wrote all the buttons I pushed, and all the stuff that I saw on my calculator screen. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, I knew enough about the problem to use a normal distribution for the distribution of my test statistic, the T statistic. So, you wrote that the distribution was approximately normal. No, I said it was a normal distribution. I didn't use the word approximately. I just wrote normal. You didn't say it was approximate. You said the distribution was normal, thereby implying that it was exactly normal. Yes, I said it was a normal distribution. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Yes. Well, after saying it was normal, I then continued with my hypothesis test about the mean. Wait, you said the distribution of T was normal. Yes. After all, every test statistic follows a normal distribution, right? No, actually, only a Z statistic follows a normal distribution. Your T statistic follows a T distribution. They are two different distributions. Oh, well they're close enough. After all, they are both symmetric and bell-shaped. They should be interchangeable. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well anyway, I got my p-value, and it was 9.2, so I wrote that as my p-value. You wrote that the p-value was 9.2? Didn't the calculator have an e, followed by some negative number after that? Oh, right. It did. It had 9.2, E, and then negative 4, but I figured that the E meant that was something extra, or that there was an error. So, I just wrote that the p-value was 9.2. That E means that the calculator has changed to scientific notation. Your p-value was very small. In fact, it was 0 0.00092. Oh well. It's all the same thing. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, since I thought the p-value was really big, I figured that we should not reject the null. So, you mean that you wrote that you would fail to reject the null hypothesis? That's great that you have that decision following directly from the large number you thought was the p-value. Well, no. I didn't exactly say to fail to reject the null. I said that I accepted the null. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. I also said that there was a 9.2% probability that my null hypothesis was correct. There was a 9.2% chance that the mean was as stated in my hypothesis. I suppose that gave my conclusion and an interpretation of my p-value.
your interpretation of the p-value is flawed. A p-value tells us the probability of seeing these results, or even more extreme, assuming that the null hypothesis is true. It is a conditional probability. Ah, uh, that's the same thing. Whatever. Likewise, your conclusion was not really in context. A statement about the mean in the null hypothesis could be made about any such hypothesis. There is nothing specific about the problem in your conclusion. Well, I talked about the mean. That should be an ung. You fool. That's wrong. You just lost points. Well, I think I did okay overall. You'll be lucky to get any score at all. I wouldn't be surprised if your score ended up being a negative number. You showed poor statistical practice over and over again. The academic community frowns upon your complete ignorant foolishness. Goodbye.